presidents of the United States. Could the influence of these powerful men be connected to an alien race? According to UFO experts, the decisions that shaped our country and globe may have come from out of this world. What have the presidents known that the public did not? There's always things like that going on. Uh, flying saucers and they've had other things, you know. From UFOs over our capital to a presidential sit-down with alien beings. President Harry Truman disclosed to the American people that UFOs were real. Tonight, we reveal how much influence otherworldly creatures may have had on the presidents of the United States. There's not an alien force already among us. Join us as the secrets of presidents and aliens are unsealed. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed. Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. It is winter, 1777, the height of the Revolutionary War. General George Washington leads a wounded battalion, leaving a trail of blood in the snow. During the horrendous winter at Valley Forge of the American Revolution, George Washington, who was getting demoralized at the state of his troops, went into the forest to pray. And in that forest, Washington saw what could only be described as an otherworldly phenomenon. In 1880, the National Tribune reported an account by one of Washington's men. In it, the soldier reports Washington was approached by a strange being in the woods. According to the story, the being showed Washington a map of America. On it fell drops of water. With each drop of water, a city emerged a vision of the United States, as it would appear in the centuries ahead. The second vision Washington had at Valley Forge was even stranger. Washington said that what he saw in the forest was a floating green orb, out of which jumped little creatures, small people. Washington said they were probably members of a local Indian tribe, but why would they be jumping out of a floating green orb? Did extraterrestrial creatures visit America's first president? This portrait of Washington features what seems to be a glowing craft hovering above a globe of the Earth. Could alien inspiration have affected not only this founding father, but others as well? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. According to a published account, on April 5, 1800, President Thomas Jefferson and his aide witnessed something unexplainable fly above their heads and crash into the earth. So Jefferson's aide said that when they saw this UFO, it was about 70 to 80 feet long and about 200 yards off the surface of Earth. The object is described to be the size of a house and crimson red. After it passed over them for about 15 to 20 seconds, they saw it kind of disappear behind a hill, and they heard like a large crash and felt a rumble on the ground, which means whatever this object was definitely crashed here on Earth. Upon investigation, Jefferson learns that the surface of Earth was found broken up and badly scorched. Could this sighting, as many alien theorists believe, be the first UFO crash encountered by a president, but not the last? Washington's description of his two UFO sightings at Valley Forge and Jefferson's description of William Dunbar's sighting of a UFO and a UFO crash over Louisiana in 1800, reported in 1801, really set the stage for a number of future encounters made, reported by presidents of the United States about UFO encounters. In the centuries to follow, America flourishes and thousands of fellow Americans report unexplained craft in the sky. Los Angeles, 1895. The Foo Fighters of World War II. Roswell, 1947. 
As UFO and alien encounters spread around the United States, Americans grow afraid. In 1952, there was a huge increase in UFO sightings across the nation. You would call this a UFO wave. From coast to coast, UFOs were pretty much seen everywhere. It was known as the year of the UFO. While many dismiss these stories as Cold War paranoia, one key event challenged skeptics, asking why aliens don't just show up on the White House lawn. Because in July of 1952, they almost do. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Since founding the United States of America, presidents have experienced alien encounters and unexplained sightings over the nation's soil. Could there be a significant connection between an alien presence and the leaders of the free world? If extraterrestrials came to Earth, particularly the United States, and landed here and wanted to communicate with us, they would probably want to communicate with the leader of the United States, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. As a result of these encounters, U.S. presidents may have changed our country, or even the world. But a 1952 sighting struck fear into the public's heart when a nation under President Harry Truman received an alien visit right over the Capitol. Unsealed case file, the White House alien invasion. In 1952, there was a huge increase in UFO sightings across the nation. You would call this a UFO wave. From coast to coast, UFOs were pretty much seen everywhere. But in 1952, a very historic event took place over the skies of Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. At 11.40 p.m. on July 19, 1952, an air traffic controller at Washington National Airport reportedly spotted seven unidentified objects southwest of the city on radar. According to the air traffic controller who tracked these objects over the capital, they were moving in an erratic fashion, so, uh, something that no one was familiar with in normal aircraft. The objects moved into positions above the Capitol, the Pentagon, and the White House. The sighting above the Capitol in Washington, D.C. caused a lot of panic and fear. Let's face it, the military couldn't explain it. And this was an extreme threat to the President of the United States and our Congress and our politicians there in Washington. Witnesses calculate the objects to be moving at 100 miles per hour and accelerating to as much as 7,200 miles per hour as they roam freely above Washington. Following the incident, President Harry Truman demands answers to the flying saucer problem. This wasn't just a UFO appearance over some isolated desert spot. This was a UFO formation over Washington, D.C. And in a very unguarded, unscripted moment before the press, President Harry Truman disclosed to the American people that UFOs were real. Did the Joint Chiefs of Staff talk to you about the unidentified flying objects? Oh, yes. We discussed it at every conference that we had. There's always things like that going on. Uh, flying saucers, and they've had other things, you know. The Air Force launches a UFO investigation named Project Blue Book. But their research over 17 years concludes UFOs are easily explainable. The program abruptly ends in 1969. Most of what we're dealing with in these reports is almost certainly fantasy. Could Project Blue Book have simply been a government cover-up to quell the American public's fear of UFOs? Many people believed, especially after this, that not only were UFOs real, but the government was trying to cover them up. In fact, some stories indicate that presidents of the 20th century not only knew about alien life, they may have had the bodies to prove it. Inverness, Florida, February 19th, 1973. President Richard Nixon steps on to the Inverness Golf and Country Club, hole number 18. He is there to meet his friend, actor and comedian Jackie Gleason, to help open a charity golf tournament. But according to a story reported by Air Force Security Officer Larry Warren, the event is allegedly the beginning of a presidential alien encounter. Gleason was an avid UFO reader, and he said he pressured Richard Nixon 
to tell him about UFOs, what did the government know about UFOs, and Nixon, supposedly, according to Larry Warren, Gleason keeps pushing President Nixon to show him the UFO, show him an alien body, show him some kind of proof of UFOs. Nixon refuses, refuses, refuses. According to Warren's tale, Gleason later reported that Nixon had finally given in and revealed an extraterrestrial secret. Nixon, close to midnight, showed up at Jackie Gleason's house, driving his own private car, no secret service, no security, tells Gleason to get in. He says, you want to see something? I'll show you something. They drive to Homestead Air Force Base, pass through security. The president shows Gleason these remains of extraterrestrials, aliens, encased in some kind of what Jackie Gleason described to Larry Warren as a Coke dispenser freezer. The U.S. presidency holds many secrets. We may never know for sure if the tale of Nixon and alien bodies is true. But we may have proof that one president actually met aliens alive. When we return, this is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Since its founding in 1776, presidents leading the United States have become entangled in one of the biggest mysteries of mankind, the UFO enigma. People truly believe, and this has come out in various uh, surveys and national polls about this, that the government is keeping secrets from the American people about not only the existence of the UFOs, but government's involvement with UFOs. Some presidents claim to have no knowledge of our nation's alien secrets. If the United States Air Force did recover alien bodies, they didn't tell me about it either, and I want to know. But many modern presidents have witnessed UFO events that inspired them to share their experiences with the public. None more than the man known to some as the UFO president, Jimmy Carter. Leary, Georgia, 1969. Two years before Jimmy Carter becomes governor of Georgia and later president of the United States, he is giving a speech at a local school when a guest points out an unusual light in the sky. And Carter saw this and it affected him a lot because not only did he remember the sighting and talk about it years later, he went out of his way to report it to the International UFO Bureau at the time that was investigating this phenomenon. Carter's official report described it as self-luminous, changing from blue to red and back to white in color. There are an estimated 10 to 12 witnesses to the event. And yet, Carter was not alone. His successor, Ronald Reagan, claimed to see a UFO and took his thoughts of alien invasion all the way to the United Nations. 1974, in the skies over California, future president Governor Ronald Reagan is flying to Bakersfield, California in his Cessna jet when he catches sight of an unusual object outside the window. When Governor Ronald Reagan was flying into Bakersfield, California, he saw a UFO outside of a Cessna aircraft. His ex-military pilot also saw this and recounted that the object stayed there for quite a few minutes, uh, just hovering outside of the aircraft, and then zipped off into the heavens and completely disappeared. Reagan admitted he himself was conducting UFO research on his own time. He was a believer, and to the man who would become president, this craft was reportedly real, unidentified, and possibly alien. A lesson he thought the entire world could learn from. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Perhaps the biggest presidential encounter of all is not a UFO sighting, but a meeting between a sitting U.S. president and an extraterrestrial here on Earth. It is an encounter so significant it could affect the future of every man, woman, and child if we can prove it happened. 
Eisenhower was an extremely important figure in our nation's history. He was a, an extremely powerful, a well-respected um, military strategist. He came out of World War II. He was a hero. Our country revered Eisenhower. According to alien theorists, President Eisenhower was called upon to meet with alien leaders on more than one occasion. But only one of those events coincides with the appearance of a possible alien craft. The location? Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. The date was October 16th, 1957. And the guests? An alien race known as the Greys. So now we get to the event known as the Holloman Landing. Um, wherein a ship, a saucer-shaped ship, lands on the tarmac at Holloman Air Force Base in front of Air Force One, and a meeting is held right there on the tarmac. Coming up next, one chilling photo could connect aliens and the history of our government for the past 50 years. See it and decide for yourself when we return. This is... Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. The time to act is now. There are three simple steps you can take to unseal the truth. Follow on Twitter. Follow the Unsealed Twitter feed to receive breaking news of the latest alien happenings as they develop. Tell your story. Have you seen a UFO? Whatever we encountered affected our memory. Upload stories and pictures to our interactive map. Join the movement. Get the Unsealed bracelet and the unique code hidden underneath to access exclusive content. Stop living in the dark. It's definitely coming this way. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth. Now. Throughout history, presidents of the United States have determined our fates. But has alien contact with the presidents played a role as well? On October 16th, 1957, President Dwight D. Eisenhower allegedly held meetings with extraterrestrials in hopes of striking a treaty. So the only bit of evidence that we have about this whole Holloman incident is a picture taken on that day, the alleged day, of a UFO above Holloman Air Force Base. It's, it's a verified photo. So if this photo is real, then possibly a meeting really did take place that day on the tarmac. We may never know how much influence aliens have had on our founding fathers or current presidents. But if any of these encounters are true, one thing is certain. The leaders of the free world may have help from something that is not of this world. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.